Hi everyone and welcome back to the podcast. This is episode 47 and I'm here and Ian is somewhere. Um, I am somewhere. Yeah, but he's not here. But, you know, technology, we can make this work. So, we're going to go through the product um, ideas that got through in the first round of 2022 Lego Ideas. There's 39 of them. When I looked at them, I thought, I've seen so many of these before. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like things go through several times. Either that or we're just paying more attention to them when they qualify. Which well, I think on, on a, we quite often on London Calling, Greg will go through ones which have recently hit 10k. Yeah, that's true. So maybe yeah. it's not me um, thinking that they've been through before. It's just, we've just seen them before. Okay, yeah. so first up, we've got the Forestman Secret Inn. So this is uh, a castle-esque building with trees. It's very similar to the castle in the forest, I feel. Yeah. I don't think it's getting through. No, I don't think it is. I like it, but yeah, it's not going to make it. Okay, number two, the legendary Concord. This nope. is a model of a Concord. Just nope. <laughs> Just nope. See, Concord means a lot to me because I used to be on the flight path for it, and so we'd watch it go mm. across. But like, I remember watching it. I don't care to have it as a uh, a model. I'm not all that excited. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's not going to make I think it's been through before, and the nose on this one isn't particularly good. Yeah. So. Yeah, ugly nose. <laughs> I don't know. Number three, Mini City Diorama, London, with Underground Station. Now, I like this one because it's a building. I, I think it's quite nice. You've got the subterranean bit, which... Makes it different to pretty much everything else you see. Yeah. And the fact that it kind of turns to see different perspectives doesn't really work very well in a city, so I'm not entirely sure. No. How we would, if we were to get this, display it. Yeah. It would need some sort of modification. But it's a nice build itself. I love the fact it's got a little post box. And yep. an underground sign. And, and the fact, is there is there actually a Brick Lane underground station? I have no idea. You're the Londoner, not me. Yeah, uh, I feel like there is, but I, I might be making that up. But yeah, I like it. It's not yeah. going to get picked, though, right? I don't think so. No. It's too London. Like, yeah. It's very niche. Um, Number four, the Lego toilet. This is a, a toilet made out of Lego, including a bug brush. Yeah. And for some reason, like a UCS type sticker. I mean, it's funny. <laughs> Why not? But no one's buying this. No, no one's going to. No. But then I guess it got got them a whole bumper pack of like 10k prizes. So for yeah. them it, it worked out quite well. But yeah, no. Yeah. Lego Koala, number five. This is cute. So this one, this is cute. I've got a feeling I've seen this from different angles and it looks weird. Yeah, possibly. This angle I looks very good. they've got on here is a really nice one. Yeah. But when you, like the ba how the baby attaches is a bit odd and stuff. Yeah, so you've got the big big koala, then the baby one on the back, and it is adorable. And it's really impressive mm. what you can build from bricks, because there's so many curves on this. But then, yeah. I don't know, where are we, we're not putting this in our city. We don't need a giant no. koala in our city. And I don't really no. need it displayed. So it's again, it's a very limited audience, I feel. Like, Maybe. Koalas are cute. A lot of people like cute things. Yeah, that's true. That's why I like you. Okay, <laughs> but I, well, so do you think it's getting through? Don't think so. No, okay. Um, number six, the Wild West mine. So they've got the Wild West Studios in the Bricklink Designer program at the moment. This yeah. is nothing really like that at all because it's it's no. the, the mine, and and everyone loves a bit of roller coaster track. Yeah. So I mean, isn't is this just meant to be a Wild West themed roller coaster? I guess that's you could spin it as that, couldn't you? I think mm. it's meant to look like a mine, but yeah, it does look more like a roller coaster. There's not enough yeah. depth in it to be a mine. Mm. Like there's no underground element. It's just a roller coaster with a cave. Yeah, I like it still, but yeah, I think maybe it would work better in a theme park as a, a wild west, yeah. like you say. Is it getting through? Um, maybe. Really? I think it, it's it, it's a possible. Okay. Interesting. Why? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, you just you just think that. Sometimes they let these things through, and this one will be one. Yeah, there's nothing obviously that rules it out. Right, so you can't discount it, but you don't know yeah. for sure. Okay, fair enough. Um, number seven, the library. So 
this is modular style building. It's a corner building. On yep. the left hand side, you've then got a part of the build that looks like a book. So it's a very odd kind of concept for putting into a city. I see it why is. they've done it because obviously it's the library. Yep. But you've got quite a cool pencil bench on the side. I like that. Oh, yeah. That is quite cool. Um, I don't know why um, you would never see a building that looks like a book. So they kind of mashed Probably up two not. different concepts, like, oh, I'll go for the building, but then I'll try and make it more sort of on theme by adding yeah, the book. Yeah. But I don't know, I quite like some of the greebling on the on the building itself, mm. like the arches and the columns on the building. They, yeah. They're those um, profile round bricks, they look nice. And also the, the little sort of veranda, it's kind of like a glass veranda, I feel. Is that, yeah. is that the word I'm looking for, veranda? Well, look yep. at the lamppost as well. There's loads of lights on there. Mm. It's a nice build, but it's a modular. It is. It's not getting through. Yep. But maybe we'll see it in the Bricklink Designer Programme. Maybe. It's got a possibility, hasn't it? Um, number eight, Steampunk Airship. This is one that I feel like has got through lots of times. Maybe. Yeah, it's... I feel this one has. Yeah, and I like it, but I don't yep. want it. Yeah. I think a lot of people complain that it doesn't look like it would... Support that balloon. Be... Yeah. Which I don't know. It's got the it's got four of the which are clearly used as rigging. Yeah. I don't know what you, you call those pieces. Down, the, the it's maybe enough the to hold it. I mean it depends how heavy that balloon is. There's quite a lot of parts in there, so it mm. would be weighty, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be enough. Mm. It's probably not gonna be easy to build because you'll try and attach it to those poles and smash the whole thing every time. That's just my thoughts. Maybe. But yeah, it's cool, but I don't know. I can't see it getting yeah. through. Okay, number nine, Tales of the Space Age. See, I, these look familiar, but I think you're right. We've seen this just as it yeah. got through. Yeah. I think it's a these, clever, these clever are, effect. Yeah. They seem quite small for an idea, but you've got the three of them, and I suppose, I don't know, that back wall is made up of bricks and plates, isn't it? So it's going to be a fair number of pieces. Mm -hmm. But you say it's small, but... The one of the most recent ones from Lego Ideas was the Starry Night. That's that's not very big, is it? I kind of feel like um, it's just a fun concept. That one. That's why it got quite to big. I would say. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's about the same size as if you combine these three together. Yeah, and it's kind of similar kind of concept of mm. a bit more of a sort of visual piece. Yeah, um, definitely not a place set. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's it's a possibility. I can't I can't be sure. I want to know how yeah. they do the moons in the central one. That looks like a sticker or some sort of... I don't know, is that just two circular things? Oh, I see, actually, because it's the shadow. So you've got the 3D element of the the big round. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's clever. This one, again, I kind of feel like I've seen before. The Number 10, the Kit Kat clock. We've definitely talked about this on London Calling because I don't like it. Yeah. It's weird looking. Yeah. I kind of I wouldn't put it on my wall because it would be staring at me all day. Yeah. And you know I don't want it. But then I guess yeah. if you love the original Kit Kat clock when it wasn't Lego, you'll love it when it is Lego. I guess. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> so you think there's enough of an audience for it? No. No. So it's not going through. Number eleven. Santa's cottage. Um. So it's very snowy. There's. It um, is. Is that that's not an A-frame cabin, is it? A-frames are more symmetrical. Yeah, it's, it's a squashed an A-frame. Yeah, asymmetrical yeah. A, and it's got some trees, a car, and lots of snowy scenes. But yeah, it's pretty. It is. I don't see. You know, I think that maybe you've got Mrs. Claus there on the front, but other than that, I don't see anything that. What shall... makes you think that's Mrs. Business. Claus? Just out of interest. I don't know. I think she's traditionally seen as wearing a cape, yeah. yeah. Just because the hat is not Mrs. Claus, that's that's a Santa hat. I don't mm. think Mrs. Claus wears a Santa hat. So maybe right. it's super Santa. He's like, okay. the rest of the year he's a superhero. It's mm. just at Christmas that he delivers presents. Yeah. It, what you can't see is if you turn him around, he's got his pants over his trousers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't see anything... It's not Christmassy in the scene. It's got, you know, a what looks like a jeep yeah. as opposed to a sleigh. So I don't I don't understand the Santa's cottage connection. It's just a Christmassy it's cabin. Rich. It's 
right. And we've already got the A frame cabin. The A frame so cabin. I don't see this one. And the, also the winter chalet from the the design program. So it's yeah. kind of similar in that. I think if you turn it around, it looks quite cool. But I'm not. We always go just based on these pictures. So I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. So I think it's a no. Mm. Twelve Mac Patrol. I have no idea what Mac Patrol is. It looks to be a nope. car and a um, sort of fighter jet type thing. Is that, is that yeah. One? And then a variety of minifigures. So I'm getting a guess it's some sort of IP that I'm unaware of. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not interested. Are you interested? Nope. No. Okay. Um, the Polar Express 20th anniversary. That's number 13. I mean, it's a train. Uh, we like trains. Well, whenever we get these trains, I'm just not impressed by them. Because I'm constantly, com- I'm always comparing them back to, you know, the the Emerald Knight, yeah. even the Crocodile Locomotive. And I think this hasn't got enough detail to beat either of those. No, it's it's very much flat down the sides. There's no yeah. excitement. And those three carriages are all the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a train. Yeah. I so mean, then is the IP enough to carry it through I, and... I don't know. I've not seen the Polar Express, so it's hard for me to tell you whether it's um, amazing mm. enough. But I'm going to go with no. I also don't think this is the first time we've seen this one. No. I might be wrong. I don't know if that's because he's resubmitted it or because other people have submitted yeah. ones. Number 14, Lego Insects. I mean, why? I don't really want a wasp near me at the best of times. Make it out of Lego, I still don't want it near me. But they did the Lego birds, didn't they? Yeah, I didn't find those interesting either but i suppose at least those were kind of one-to-one scale where yeah. these are enlarged insects yeah don't i mean the, the only one i like out of those is the ladybird right the, the butterfly maybe but no i think it's the ladybird i do think they're well done like that mm. specifically is the cricket look like that's really nice part of usage the grasshopper grasshopper that's what i wanted to say what's a cricket they're smaller are they like grasshoppers? Mm, similar, yeah. Okay, so how do you know it's not a cricket? Because it's a grasshopper. How do you know? Because I know the difference. Right, but you can't tell me the difference? No. Well, good to you. Grasshoppers traditionally have that kind of back arching pose. Yeah. A cricket wouldn't do that. Crickets are more flat. Crickets, um, the wings would be more obvious. Um, I, I mean, think the legs also I... are more distributed along the body as opposed to it having a big sticking out the back is there more stuff you want me to talk about between crickets and grasshoppers no no i don't doubt that you are, are right and i think i was just struggling to find the word for grasshopper but still <laughs> i wanted to check okay so crickets versus grasshoppers aside do we think it's going to be made um i don't know people like birds more than they like insects yeah but insects this kind of enlarging insect thing people would find interesting um, no. No? Well, maybe. I guess any time They did the giant insects at Marwell Zoo, didn't they? I, I don't think anyone cares. Like, it's fun okay. to see one time. You're not going to put it in your house. Okay. Right, we're moving on. Um, 15, Boeing 747 cockpit. I mean, I'm struggling to work out the scale on this. It's confusing to me. It looks like a cockpit. I'm guessing it's yeah. like a full-scale cockpit. That would be crazy. No. But it's, it, I guess there's quite a lot of sticker detail on here. It just looks, it does well, look Yeah, I mean, that chair's made up of Technic beams. Yeah, I can so. see. Yeah. What's the, what is the piece for the little, um, if you could see me, you'd know what I was doing. <laughs> um, this is where us being in different rooms is hard. The bit you hold. And you're like I can see you. you. Oh, okay. That's freaky. Don't do that. Um, I, I can only see um, the screen. What do you call that? It's not a joystick, is it? But it's that kind of. Yeah. So those look to be silver microphones going into... Oh, yes. The little clip. Um, those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, again, nice, nice part usage, but... I just don't think this, you know, this works because of the way the photo's been taken. Yeah, exactly. As a model, it's, I don't think it would work. It's an angle thing. You get yeah. this perspective of someone coming into the cockpit, you wouldn't get that from most of the other angles, so... Yeah. Yeah, I, I like seeing these ideas, but yeah, I don't think it's going to get through. Number 16, Sherlock Holmes, 221 B Baker Street. It's, um, a, it's a building. Yeah. The building's going to get through. It's not going to get through, is it? It's a nice building, though. Mm. I like it. I like the minifigure as well. She's got a cool purple dress. It's 
Is it like do we know what two two one B Baker Street actually looks like? Oh, it's a fictional address. Well, it's described in some of the books, isn't it? As yellow on top, not at the bottom. I don't know. I quite like the little. But then you've got film car. adaptations yeah. and stuff, so. I like it, but it's not going through. Yeah. Okay, seventeen adventure box, but it's like this looks like a sewing box essentially. It does. I don't know what makes it an adventure box. Is it one of those puzzle boxes that you can't open? Or is it I don't think so. Thing? I think, as you said, it's the sewing box where it opens up and you'll have all the different levels. Why is that called an adventure box? I, I, I don't know what's inside it. Maybe there's an adventure inside. Okay. Um, I think it's pretty, but no. Yeah. 18, Wapatala Schwabund, Wapatala Suspension Railway. I've no idea what I just said. Wuppertal Suspension Railway, I think. Oh, okay. They put it in non-English. Okay. It's German, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it's in Germany, isn't it? It's one of the like only suspension railways that's still running, and it's due to a very specific issue the town has to do with. Oh, I've got a feeling it's like a river that runs through the middle or something, because it makes it very difficult to do transport. So having this going over it um, makes a lot of sense. Right. Okay. But do we want it in a leg set? I don't know. It looks really long. Long, and it's just, it's not exciting. So I can't imagine it would work very well. Like going round corners, well, those just going straight lines bogies are too far apart. It would just cause problems, I would have thought. Yeah, it's weird. Mm. It's not getting made. No. 19, hanging flowers. So these are two hanging flowers. We have the range. We don't need this. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't even like that colour of piece. It's too olive green. No. Okay, number 20, Polaroid one step. Um, <laughs> it's a Polaroid camera. Yeah, quite a nostalgic piece. Yeah, and they do like to do like real, real life things, but this is a, yep. a retro real life thing. So I guess like the the NES and the Atari. So it's possible they'll choose it. I don't want it's, it. I don't feel it's big enough or interesting enough for that though. It's quite small, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so it's a no from us. Mm. Twenty one, the Opera. Oh, it's a building. Oh, it's a very, very, yes. very ornate building. This is, this is a really nice building, but it's still a building. Yeah. So hopefully Brooklink designer for this one, because I'd like it. Not that we have mm. any room for buildings, but I still want it. No. Okay, 22. Lancia Delta Integral 16-volt rally car. Yeah. It's a car. It's a car. Okay, cool. Moving on. Um, 23. Castle of Brickwood Forest. Again, it's too close to the castle in the forest. Yeah. It's got a cool like little carriage thing. That I like that one. Like it looks yeah. like a royal carriage, kind of like in Robin Hood, where the Disney film, where they still yes, in the Robin Disney Robin Hood, yeah, yeah, um, but it's not being pulled by hippos and rhinos and elephants. That's true. Okay, that's what lets it down completely. Yeah, yeah, and um, I I like it, but I don't think it's getting through. And it's the same nope. guy as the Castle in the Forest, actually looking at it. Is it? Yeah, Popok. So that's yeah. the same guy. How strange. Maybe he wanted to improve on it. Um, 24, Gilmore Girls House. I like the series. The house looks vaguely like it's meant to. It's very blocky. An old sort of school Lego house. Yeah, this, this reminds me of old Lego houses. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so we'll skip that one. I don't think it's going through. Um, 25, Aladdin, Friend Like Me. Again, people put out really good stuff, but I just don't mm. see the market for it. Who's going to want to put a giant genie on their side? I don't know. You can't put it in a city. Um, We're not having a giant yeah. genie in our city. No. Seems better than a typewriter, though. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. It does seem better than a typewriter. It's well done. Yeah. Like his face. That's mm. pretty much what he looked like. And those hands, do they have points of articulation? They do look like they might do. Yeah. yeah. But aren't Disney pushing more for the remake of Aladdin? And this is very much, you know... Original Aladdin. Yeah, original Aladdin. I'm going to go with is better. Not that I've seen the other one, but so it's not getting made. Twenty six, the Market Village. Um, this just looks like the set that they did make at one point and retired, and everyone wants back. Plus yeah. a bit more detail. So like they've got the colours from that set, but slightly higher up on the buildings. Yeah. Got quite a lot of scene setting. Those tea brain mm. stakes are really expensive pieces. They're not going to bring that back. Are they? Yeah, that just came with the butcher minifigure, I think. Because so, uh, okay. I've got him, but not the steak, uh, which is very upsetting. Um, I like it. I want it. It's not coming. 
Maybe, maybe Fair it's enough. coming. I don't know, they went for the blacksmith. What do you reckon? I don't think so. Okay. Right. Uh, 27 Air Jordan 1. I could not care anymore. No, I don't right care. Now, which is not at all. Um, yeah. Trainers. Not bothered. Um, 28 Magical Village Over the Bridge. This looks very Christmassy. So it's a, this does. This looks a lot more Christmassy than Santa's, Santa's Cottage. Santa's Cottage, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, I really love the bridge. It's a very curved bridge with the sort of three. Yeah. Um, tunnels underneath mm. and I think it's beautiful I, I'd have it for sure yeah I like it? it I like the, the fact mm. that he's holding his hat as well and he's got this big um, hair underneath he's a very yeah. classic looking Santa yeah I'm a bit sad about say... the um, the snowman's nose though it's a bit droopy okay you've got the Winter Village series so I can't see them doing a Christmas one for my day. No. But then so many people want to update their Winter Village to be bigger because one, one set a year isn't enough. And if it's like... No, you're no, only ever they doing... don't do just one set a year, though. They do multiple sets a year. They only do one proper set a year. And they add on like a... No. What do you we mean? got the Reindeer Battle Pack. Yeah, that was a different... That, that's the smaller set. That wasn't yeah. a set. I don't think that counts. That's still a set. No, that doesn't count. That's not a, a, a main building for the Winter Village. Right, but you get stuff. I mean, you've got ice rinks and stuff. You know, there's normally a gift we purchase that works. I think um, it's not getting made. I agree with you. I also disagree mm. that they make more than one set. It's one main Winter I think Village they set make, a year. I think they make about three Winter Village sets a year. You're wrong. They do the big set, the little set, and the gift we purchase. No. One set. 29, The Legend of the Sea Serpent. This looks cool. It does. But I don't know where it would go in our city. I like the stairs. So you've got the big sea serpent and then stairs up to a, like a little shack. Yeah. And a guy trying to throw a spear at the sea serpent. It's cool, but is it going to get through? I don't think so. No. 30, the Orient Express. It's a train. Um, to go and it hard to see that. I mean... Yeah, it's not the best picture. So the picture is so small compared to the like the box. It's mainly just But background. it's also really dark and yeah. then on a black background. I mean... Yeah, they've not they've not done themselves any favours here. No. I do quite like the carriage. Yeah. Very Emerald Nighty. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Emerald Nighty. Sorry, it's just a green knot. <laughs> that's what I'm imagining. Okay, 31, yeah. the Notting Hill Market. I like this because it's colourful. I'm not sure how you would get it into a city given the, the angle to it. So it's kind of on a curve. Right. But it's yeah. Cool. yeah. It's a nice little scene. Got some nice market stalls. Yeah, is it going to get made? Notting Hill. I don't think so. No. It's a bit dated now. Mm. Oh, look, another train. 32, pneumatic steam locomotive. That looks very no, lego -y. that does. It doesn't look particularly attractive to me. No. Nope. No, okay. Um, 33, farm life. Classic barn. barn. Is it? Is that an American barn? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I don't recall. Well, it's kind of the... Uh, hey, barn. Kind of... Is it American Gothic? I've no idea. Famous painting. Oh, okay. Barn and the old couple in front of it. It's kind of that style, okay. isn't it? Um, they've just released a whole bunch of Lego City farm sets. This is not. Yeah. Gonna, it's not going to take off. They're not going to do it. Thirty-four satisfactory constructor. I don't even know what that is. It looks like a um a factory like machine that takes things in, does some stuff, spits something else out. Yeah. Um. No idea what it is. Maybe it's some kind of IP related thing. Yeah. Not okay. interested in it. Yeah, same. Um, 35, living on the edge. So this is a building that is like a standard building. It's, it's a good building, but then has bits kind of hanging over the edge so that you put it on the corner of a table. I don't really get it. No. Uh, is that the, is that what they're riding their hopes on? That we've done something different by putting a few pieces like not, flat and so it looks like it's melting over the edge yeah i don't want my building to melt over the edge of my table no i don't know it's it's not exciting there's a lot of greebling going on as well i think it mm. just look i don't know a bit strange mm. 36 lego minerals yeah so this is interesting i mean i think i've seen better but it's a decent collection of different ones yeah it kind of reminds me a bit more of like the latest succulents like, there's mm. builds for everyone to do all at the same time, yeah. and then you end up with a collection of, of objects that go 
go to the, together. But the only yeah. one that I really like is the sort of the geode in the middle that's been split. And yeah. The other ones are all a bit too, like, pale and, like, I don't know, just they look A bit like, too obviously Lego. Yeah, they look too translucently Lego-y, and that's it. Yeah. Sorry, I don't see that one. But I, they can always update these things. Um, yeah. 37 Ch -ch 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 Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I'm not sure why there was all the Ch, -ch, -ch to start with. Um, it's like a, a airship mm. with Chippendale. Yeah. You know, Chip and Mel, Chip and Mel, Chip and Dale is good. I like the cartoon. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether I, I, feel... I find it weird that it was that they were allowed to submit it because obviously Chip and Dale are in the the CMF. They're in the CMF, but also the Disney train. Are they in that? I think so. Oh, I didn't realise that. They might be. Um, I find it weird that they submitted it and completely obscured one of the the characters with the other one's hat. <laughs> Yeah. It's a bit of an odd thing to do. But, um, I don't see it getting through. No. Um, 38, Antique Cash Register. I think this looks really cool. I want this one. The fact that it actually opens, yeah. I feel is cool. And look at all that gold. It's going to yeah. cost a fortune though, isn't it? I don't know. I hope they do, if they do do it, I hope they do it with like specific stickers depending on which country you're in. Because I don't want dollars on mine. Hmm, yeah. But yeah, it, it's proper cool. I would definitely like this. Yeah. I, I would say yeah, this is in a similar vein to the typewriter. Yeah. I would say this is better than the typewriter. Oh, for sure. This has got more playability. Uh, yeah. And it looks cooler. Yeah. And anyone who wants gold parts will want this. Yeah. I mean, they used to say that you couldn't do anything with lots of gold, and then they bought out, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? The gauntlet. Oh, yeah, that's loads of gold. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and the last one, 39, Jules Verne Nautilus. Jules Verne's Nautilus. Um, so this is like a submarine under the sea, yeah? With a big yeah. giant squid. Octopus, squid, octopus. One, two. Giant squid. Oh, yeah. well, it's got eight legs, so it could be an octopus. Um, no, that that's a squid. Says who? It says me. Okay. Shall we uh, do the... Squid versus octopus thing, like we did crickets versus grasshopper. You really want me to do that? I mean, so yes, technically a squid should have more um, arms, tentacles. They have different names um, because it should have the two long ones, which have the more suckers on the ends. Normally it flares out. But um, if you look at how the eyes work, the eyes are very clearly on the side as opposed to an octopus where they're not quite as obvious like that. And you can just about see like the kind of... Um, Avo head yeah. kind of tip, um, which is more uh, an obvious detail on squid than it is on octopus. Okay. Got octopi. Thanks. Um, okay. <laughs> I do love you. Um, I like the the details under the sea, like the seaweed with the little purple flowers on. I think that's actually quite a nice colour combo. You should do that in our underwater yep. scene. And okay. We need, we need some schools of fish, so... We do. I keep meaning to sort that out, but I never get around to it. Would you want this under the sea? I quite like it. Uh, is it, so? Is there something basically like a cross section? That's how it's been done. Yeah, so it does built look half that way. It. So then, um, that's less cool, maybe. I don't know, but you could presumably enclose it fairly easily. Yeah, but then you wouldn't be able to see all the detail inside. Mm. No, I like this. Yeah, are they going to do it though? Um, I don't know. Maybe. So maybe okay. I mean, I find it increasingly hard to work out what they will do and what they won't because they just seem to pick at random. There's yeah. no rhyme or reason to it anymore. Hmm? Yeah, there is that kind of random element to it. Yeah. So it's it's tricky. Um, I just I don't feel comfortable trying to pick one anymore. If I had to no. pick one, which one would I actually pick? Let's go back up to the top. The one that I believe in the most is maybe the cash register. I'm thinking cash register. Yeah. Okay. Wow. We agree on something. Mm, it's unusual, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Maybe some time apart was good for us. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. On that bombshell. Um, yeah. Let us know in the comments below which of these you think is the best and which one you think is the most likely to make it through. Those are two very different questions. Yeah. 
if you want to check any of our previous podcasts then i will link that up now either in the description show notes or on the screen and we'll be back next week so have a great week bye bye